All right. I tried uh, recording this once, but I got disturbed. Uh, tried recording again, but I was kind of losing my train of thought. Get just giving like a little follow up for my video earlier from the article that I was talking about. I watched a couple videos, one from Simon Nigel HD and the Wrestling Gurus, where they were talking about the whole Lana Rusev promo controversy. Now looking back at it, I thought that promo was actually kind of good. It was, it was an okay promo, by my opinion. Because and going back to wrestling fans who claim they want edgy, controversial characters in this day and age, and the people who complain about how they want the Attitude Era back, yet bitch about something when it, when quote unquote goes a little too far. And in that promo, I have to comment what Mitch from Wrestling Guru said, where he said, Lana did kind of choose her words carefully. It's just that the wrestling fans who do not understand how, the, how sports entertainment goes kind of actually take it to heart. <clears throat> Where, kind of like how when Seb, Zeb Coulter and Jack Swagger went on these tirades of illegal immigrants living in America illegally, which that led to Zeb Zeb Coulter and Jack Swagger coming onto YouTube, breaking kayfabe, kayfabe, and telling everybody that it's just a storyline and they're playing characters. Just because Glenn, somebody like Glenn Beck got pissed off about it. And yet, this also goes back to one of my videos where I talked about how the Attitude Era would not survive in this day and age. Because society, the way it is, and how pussified America has gotten to where you say the wrong thing to somebody... Somebody will easily get offended. This is an easily offended society. And yet, you have war movies. And movies that involve the good guy going after terrorists all the time. In movies like that, where you have good guys fighting terrorists. And... You have war, movie, war, war movies, yet that's all fine, but when it happens in professional wrestling, sports entertainment, people hit the brakes and suddenly get offended. And what's the difference between a professional wrestler acting out a storyline in the ring with a with an opponent and the actor in a war movie where he's killing several terrorists it's clearly the same thing one's low budget one is surrounded around a combat sport and the other is a big budget movie production. It's all entertainment, yet one is continually criticized more than the other. And the promo was basically 
just that. An actress basically cutting a movie line. Yet, it did get its reaction. It did its job. People booed it. And if WWE axes these characters or somewhat axes the storyline altogether, it really shows that WWE does not have a backbone anymore. Because like in the Attitude Era, when press and other people got all up in an uproar, Vince McMahon really just said, fuck it, and just did it, did it anyway. But I understand. Times have changed, whatever. And so did society. But I'm pretty sure if WWE does that, they really have no backbone. Kind of like what they did with Abraham Washington. He told a rape joke on live TV and got fired. But there is no Senate. Linda McMahon ain't running for Senate, but who knows? She could get fired or or not. But it's just my opinion. Peace the fuck out.